So what? Uh, the latest updates of a major influencer saga happened just two weeks ago. Uh, when Ivan Lim, ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, uh, he he not influencer man. Oh sorry, I see so many people interested in him. Right? I thought he influencer yeah. So what? Uh, the latest updates of a major influencer saga happened last year. Right? It's the NOC saga. Wow, Cheng He Ti Tong, right? Without influencer saga, how can quick biggie website like Rudy Fit survive, right? But don't worry, lah. Uh, just recently, right? Got one update about a major influencer saga, lah, uh, and involved Rachel Wong. <coughs> hey, Bui. Who is Rachel Wong? Wow, wow, she influencer, you don't know her? Don't know, eh? Who is Rachel Wong? She influencer lah. She got air firms at Pirates of the Caterpillar one or not? No lah, she influencer lah. She can run under 7 minutes for 2.4 round or not? No lah, she influencer lah. Can she dance at the Bota Uncle from TikTok? She influencer lah, you damn are you? So right, Rachel Wong is a full-time influencer and this is important. I watch to the end and you understand. Here's a summary of a local influencer lawsuit I'll summarize for you. Turn on the CC if you don't understand my access in video. So, so, ah uh, so, the story is very simple one. Uh. The influencer right, who has 42k followers in Instagram, uh, suddenly annoy her marriage after 4 months. Uh. But now you're confused. Uh. What, 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 uh, annoy marriage? Basically, uh, is to void the marriage. Uh. Like that time, uh, you double scan the potato chips at the self-checkout machine and you see fair price, uh, then you void one of them. Uh. Now, now, isn't that divorce? They want very cheap to explain. Uh. Just know that sometimes I uh, can void the marriage instead of divorce one. Just uh, how you void the potato chips instead of paying first, right? And then getting a refund from the manager. Uh. So, so, uh, so, nothing juicy, right? Influencer divorces should only do a drug. Oh, that one different. Uh. No court rule action. Uh. Oh. Meow. But, 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 it's not a fight between the husband and the wife. Uh, because somehow, uh, during the Anoman proceedings in N2020, uh, someone whom the influencer didn't know one, uh, suddenly posted a series of Instagram stories uh, saying that the influencer uh, is a cheater. Uh. Her allegations are uh, super powerful, uh, saying that she cheated on her husband, uh, had affairs, uh, and then sleep around. Uh. Yeah, I also sleep around, uh, what? Oh, 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 not that kind. Uh. The accuser, uh, Oliver Oy, uh, even claimed that the influencer had no intention to marry. Uh. So uh, the influencer sued her, because uh, she depends on her reputation for her job, uh, as she's a full-time influencer. Now, if you still gong -gong don't understand anything, uh, you can watch our previous video on how defamation so was out. Uh. So, so, uh, so, Oliver Oy uh, is suddenly also able to provide some screenshots of the influencer's private diary entries uh, and telegram chats also. Uh. But, 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 they were not very clear, uh, and guess what happened? Since there might be evidence from the private diary entries and chats, uh, Oliver Oy uh, asked for them to prove that she's right. And that was approved in court. Yeah. I know, right? Stung, uh, Oliver. Right. Suffice to say, right, this isn't the end. I will be seeing more of this drama. Right. In the meantime, right, the influencer is using a robot to clean her house. Right. Whether her conscience is clean or not, I'm right, not sure. Right, but at least her house is clean. Right. Now, if you find this juicy, yeah, consider subscribing. Right. If not, you also influencer.